Hi, um, it's me uh, back again. Okay, so uh, this is actually a PowerPoint slides. Uh, I made it in a file and then I'd like to actually show you, okay, from my computer screen. So uh, basically, you, know, you are going to you know, learn you know, something about, it's called uh, food sculptures, okay? But remember, you know, we are going to you know, create a 3D sculpture. I just want you to actually mention that you know, we are going to you know, create in you know, a collage, okay? So basically, you, know, you are going to you know, use a white piece of a paper or even a color paper you know, on the surface. And then you need to actually use you know, grab some very interesting materials and then start working on and then maybe a stencil or you know, create and draw it on and try to create your own set of you know, burger. Okay. So uh, when you actually see on the left, those are the actually uh, the, uh, the uh, sculpture that I actually mentioned to you. This is actually done by the uh, class Ordenberg. You see the, uh, the lady was you know, uh, sitting, I'm sorry, uh, the lady was actually standing up against the you know, wall and then you know, look at the piece of work. Uh, obviously there is a forks and then the, um, the meatball spaghetti is actually on the top, okay? So you see the uh, the scale of the you know, gigantic the sculpture that he did, right? So this is what you know we are going to a little bit you know study you know what he did then, okay? All right. Uh, next action uh, 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 slides, okay? So what why action of food adds an art then, okay? Uh, you probably you know see on the you know, right and there is a bit of you know, um places of you know, uh, letters on top of each other. That's actually the, uh, the sandwich, okay? He made the uh, BLT action sandwich and uh, using a letter. So, because you know, uh, he thinks that you know, people related to food so easily, right? Obviously, we eat almost like what? Three meals, most like every day, including some snack, right? So, so this is how you know, he used the subject as very uh, interesting. Um, art pieces okay because it's very you know, simple to think about it then right so how many times do you think of you know food or eat each day then right most like in you know, three days right or even more you know including a snack right uh why not actually you know, make food into an art form right we can definitely actually consider you know any type of you know, either object you know or in you know, a food like you know what you did you know before you actually use a, a either sneaker or animation characters putting in art right using a marker right so uh, this time um, it will be the sort of a same concept but you are using the uh, food okay all right this is a type of actually you know, uh, the class Oldenburg he did okay you see on the you know, left that is the uh, the floor burger on <laughs> Actually, the, uh, that's why it was done in a MoMA, Museum of Modern Art in New York, okay? That was back in 1960 or 62, okay? So you see the, uh, the lady, uh, right, uh, next to it, that, you, know, uh, you see, kind of uh, imagine the, uh, the scale and the size of you know, the burger then, right? Definitely, you know, uh, he made it kind of a bit, a little, you know, three layers, you know, almost like a very simple way. But, you know, uh, you can actually create, you know, your own style, okay? And you see on the top, on the corner, you know, the building, it's upside down, you know, ice cream cones. Same thing, it's very, you know, huge and gigantic, but it's very interesting way that he did, right? And even in, uh, the down below, the uh, chocolate mousse cake, right? Uh, he basically actually used a type of, like, you know, uh, uh, leather, and um, he used uh, some of like in you know, uh, foam cores in you know, inside and okay, or e even even sponge. So it makes a kind of you know a uh, uh, texture, which is we never actually felt like that, right? It's very you know smoothy and very you know, silky look. But he used as uh, a type of you know, material that you know he wants us to kind of you know feel, but in different way then kind of a sense of humor and a whimsical, right? Yes. And the next in the slide, the he is the uh, class on uh, class Ordenberg, you know, as you see on the right. Yes, yeah. Um, and also you probably not see in on the right or left, you know, it's huge and gigantic actually uh, structures of you know uh, fruits and um, also the uh, even uh, burgers on the right, right? Uh, like I said, you know, I mentioned to you, uh, there is a quite interesting uh, layers you know, uh, patties and maybe uh, American cheese, some a little bit, you know, mayos and uh, tomatoes on top and also either, in you know, a buns, right? And then the lettuce, okay? 
uh, these are also in you know, a sculpture that uh, is very you know huge and gigantic then okay it's very fun right he did yeah and obviously you know yeah very you know handful because you know because of the size wise right so this is one of the actual example of you know his work then all right so pop art in 3d form obviously often cases in school settings and you know when you know uh, students you know are using a 3d form either you can actually you know, use grab up a newspaper and making a paper mache right and as in kind of in a 3d form and then you know you need to actually start in you know, um using some a little bit in you know, a medium on and then you know try to have a sculpture in and then in you know, a painting finery at the end okay um this is actually a type of work as well but it's quite interesting you see on the left you see uh, all kind of ice bars in right um it's interesting and you, know, you i don't know if you feel it but you know uh, this is actually a uh, made of you know a furry texture that he actually in you know, a color it on he actually in you know, a color on you know fabrics so um this is you know pop art it's uh, taking a very in you know, a popular culture right you know uh, andy warhol okay and uh things that you know you see in every day so definitely you know you can take everyday object right like a campbell soup right you can take an everyday object and either put it in either 2d or 3d form all right so now it's your turn okay here it said you know use your toilet paper to create your favorite food sculpture you know dip it in glowy water begin sculpting remember you know you have to you know, squeeze the extra water out and I try to make it a look just like the you know, real thing. Uh, fill your you know plate up, and we will uh, paint it. Those actually you know, things you know uh, maybe our next you know classes. But you know, uh, once again, this project you know we can do it after you know we can come back, okay? Because uh, for online lesson, I don't think it's it's a, a good idea that you know we can actually you know, do it, you know, um, for the you know, sculpture, you know. Uh, uh, pieces that you know we are going to you know, work on rather you know uh, I'm gonna just you know, give you the uh, collage project and then you know uh, maybe after you guys come back you know uh, you can actually you know, create your own style of you know food then okay but uh, this is an example you know how he did okay yes he made a type of you know like a pancakes on the you know, syrups on the top or french fries you know on the you know, ketchups on the you know, top and also in you know, a slice of you know pizza you know uh, the donuts so uh, basically, you know, food sculptures can be a definitely you know, part of the uh, art forms that you, know, you can create, okay? So uh, I hope you, you know, enjoy, and then um, we're gonna actually, you know, I'm gonna actually show you how you can actually you know, create based on the you know, uh, burger collage on a you know, paper next time then, okay? All right, so uh, hang in there, okay?